Yo, what's up guys? It's AD Fitz here with another tutorial. This week I'm going to be talking about the outward lip oscillation or the power bass and how to achieve that sound. Uh, and before I get started, I want to take this time to shout out two guys, Beardy Man and Rozel. Both these beatboxers are incredible and uh, you can't really be a fan of the art without knowing who they are. Beardy Man has revolutionized the game on many occasions. He's a multiple UK champion and Rozel is the godfather of modern beatbox. And both of them use the outward lip oscillation in some really cool and creative ways and it's still applicable today. So definitely check these guys out. It's worth, it's worth the time. Uh, they're incredible. I can't, I can't speak highly enough about them. All right, let's jump right in. The outward lip oscillation is a staple of the beatbox arsenal. You gotta know it. It's crazy and it sounds super dope on a mic. And um, it's fairly easy to learn. And once you learn it, you can apply it to a whole bunch of different, uh, different techniques and you can get really creative with it and make combinations of different techniques. So basically, you just wanna start with step one, which is just relaxing your lips and blowing air sort of slowly out of your mouth uh, as if you were sighing uh, really deeply, uh, kind of with your mouth closed, like <sighs> It's that sort of vibe. And you're gonna feel your lips vibrate and create a little, uh, a little bit of a sound. The second step, is to build up more pressure, push more air out your mouth, and tighten your lips a little bit to get a, a tighter vibration uh, and a, a stronger oscillation. So step one, step two, and step three is putting a B kick in front of that oscillation. So all three steps together, and then the B kick. And in a beat, that sounds crazy. It's like. You can also do something over the top of that with falsetto. And uh, this is essentially what I did in Pitch Perfect 2 uh, during the riff off scene with, with Reggie Watts. Uh, I just did a variation of the uh, outward lip oscillation to make this beat. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with the outward lip oscillation, and it's a really important technique, fairly simple to learn, so make sure you practice it. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. 80 fits out. <laughs>